Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for me to uh, you know, speak about here in the second time. I was here the last year also. I believe uh, it will be good. I tried to figure out this is working, working good. And uh, how the industry is doing. And I will talk about uh, a little bit about tourism and the role of the airline business. And first things, what you are seeing is very important numbers. Growth in the tourism market is about how many percent? About 4 percent, right? It's a great number. This is bigger than the, the increase in the population. After 50 years, every single person this earth is going to travel, going to visit other cities, other countries, you know? So tourism industry, after 50 years, 7 billion people will move. Today is about 1 billion. 7 billion will travel to see other cultures, other places. This is very important. So this is my knowledge. So whatever plan we are doing today, we need to work for the 50 years back, I mean later, make sure that we're getting, as a Turkey, 100 million of them. It's very ambitious. You see the numbers, it's changing year to year. I think it's working. This should be laser. Oh, it's not working. Anyhow, it's year to year changing, and the big part is in the Europe. That's very important, and uh, we are very close. We are part of the Europe the last 50, 500 years, so big part is in Europe. In Middle East, could be go up and down, but still everything is under control. Okay, here you see the listing, and uh, French, U.S., China, Spain, Italy, Turkey. You know. And uh, Turkey is the sixth biggest one on the tourism. And you see here, is the flow of the passengers. That's the airline business. 3.5 billion passengers traveling today. There is enough seat for the, each passengers, so there is no need for the other airlines to grow. And the airline business always over capacities. But as you look at like a Turkish and other airlines, claiming more business, this is why they are increasing the capacities. That's one thing. Okay, what you are seeing here, Turkish listing in the, in the tourism market, and uh, this year we have a good increase here, if you see it, and here you see there is a good increase here, and we are six largest, but it will be change. This is more important. Antalya is the, the most important destination for Turkish tourism. Last year, it's shooting a little bit. Because, because there's a less problem on the previous year on the other destination, so tourists need the option to go other places. But Istanbul, be careful about Istanbul. 16% increase in the number of tourists in Istanbul. Last year, we have 10 million guests from overseas. According to our mayor, we're targeting 30 million guests in Istanbul. It's durable. And Istanbul is preparing for this purpose. 30, the first target is having 30 million tourists per year to Istanbul, not in Antalya. And Istanbul became larger than the Antalya, if you know it. Also, what you see here, it is in the um, east of the uh, Anatolia, in the Black Sea, it's a huge increase because Arab tourists want to go to get the greens. This is a very green one, I know it. Better is okay, fish is very fresh. I'm from there also, we have nice tea also in the Rize. I born there. Okay, coming to airline business here, what you are seeing, Turkish airline domestic, four million passengers, this year 18 million, zero other airlines, and 19 million other private airlines. Dear guests, we used to be state-owned lovely companies. Government love us. They keep us on the room. They never let us go to the outside, get the fresh air. They protect us. Nobody able to fly domestically. So domestic was our captive market. Nobody allowed there. But with the new minister in 2003, they said, okay guys, everybody fly, we're flying. And international, five million, this is 28 million. So, Turkey is an attraction place. You see that we grow faster than the industry. 
market share. As I said, there is enough seed today. Why we are growing? If we are not growing, if we are Turkish, is not giving more seed on the market. Tur Istanbul never get the 30 million tourists. We start from 4 million to 10 million, about five years. And the coming five years, from 10 million to 30 million. So in order this happen, as an airline, we need to work very hard. That's our market share. OK, that's the passenger development. Why are we having this many passengers? Because Turkish economy, Turkish tourism. Why Turkish tourism is doing very good? Because of Turkish airline. This is seamless working together. We targeting same things. Bring 7 billion people in Turkey. Because after 50 years, 7 billion today inhabited. Maybe I don't know the numbers, because with 10 billion by that time, need to travel. That's the number seeing. OK, location of Istanbul is so good. We use them as a transfer points. This is what you are seeing, the increase on the transfer passenger per year. This year, we have about 13 million transfer only. When they are coming to Istanbul, they have the eight hours or more. We're telling them, if you want, we can give you the hotels. This economic class, business class, no difference. But if you want to enjoy the city, we have the city tours. We bring all the cities in a no cost, cost of the Turkish airline. And they have a nice lunch or dinner, whatever it is, on the Bosphorus. And they enjoy in a 10 hours period, eight hours period to the city. And they're coming back next time, buying Turkish airline tickets, also having to spend time in Istanbul. And uh, any establishment, this is airline business, this could be also tourism, anything, is not making profit, is dead end. In 2012, in the beginning of the 2012, in the half year, we lost this year. We lost, pardon, 2011. We don't have the 12th yet. And, uh, we lost, you know, we lost, the, we don't have no profit at all. We lost. There was a reason because we expand a lot. This is what we lost. But when I'm talking about the pilots, cabin attendants, operating people, telling them, sorry, this year we're losing money. They reply, this is your mistake. We're working as before. We're working 25 hours a day. They're not working 25 hours, but we're working very hard. But if company losing, this is the mismanagement. So you are wrong. Really, that's the communication. If in the industry losing money, that's that, you know? First thing is find a way to bring them to profit. Any existing company in this earth could make profit, no problems. But if size is not right, so you have all capacity, if your product is not right, or your employers, it, even you're building high-tech equipment, but still you need employers. They're not working by heart. And mind and heart is combined. We are in Turkey. We are, if you know Turkey, divide the world two pieces. One is east, one is west. There's a documentary, the river flowing from the west to east. I don't know you see that documentary. It's going back about 6,000 years back. It examined the cultures and talk about the cultures. It's a nice documentary. Is saying the Turkey dividing the world two pieces, east and west. On the west, we have more calculation, more mindsets. On the east, we have more heart. Sorry, this is what they are saying on there. So in Turkey, it's between two. In Turkish airline, we combine the logic and heart together. So our guests, our passengers, when we're flying with us, whatever it is they need, we do it. Of course, it should be reasonable. And we spend a lot of money to make sure they enjoy it. Just going quickly, that's the destination development. OK, today we have fourth largest network in this earth. There are three big networks is in the US. Fourth one is in the Turkey. Here, you see. So they are most domestic, well, less domestic, international. And Istanbul is building. 150 million passenger airport. If you know, this is the third largest in this earth when completed by 23, if somebody else coming to other projects. This is not airport. This is not airport. This is a city. Every day, 100,000 transfer passengers, when they cross to the airport, 
they have the facility, they will have the facilities, one hour, two hours, 24 hours, more hours, like a city. So in Istanbul, Turkey building like a city, city airport. This airport will take care about the transfer passenger much better than anywhere else because it's in the planning phase. It's a 24 hours operation, it's next to the Black Sea, so no problem on the curfew issues. And any airport in this world should be operate 24 hours a day. If you're a global player, you want to go to the east, you need to go middle of the night. Wherever you're going, you need to go middle of the night. It's the perfect time. When coming from the, 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 the east to the west, you need to come the early morning, you know. So if it's not 24 hours operation, yeah, you're losing something. Okay, I move fast. That's Africa. We love Africa. In tourism, Africa is more important than other places. It's growing very fast. It's, it's, it's poor continent. That's our destination there. But believe me, every single country in Africa, they have elites. They have enough money to spend any cities in this earth. And when we're flying to Africa, more destination, they're coming to Istanbul, and they have enough money. I mean, they have problems in Africa, but that's good. I love Africa. I go myself, and I invite everybody to visit there. On the Europe, as I said, it's the biggest market on tourism, so we have a good coverage in the Europe, and we keep continuing having good coverage there also. Okay. On the Atlantic, we're strong there also. Middle East. Remember 2006, we were in the private companies, if you remember the numbers, the transfer passenger increase is increased because we opened new routes in the Middle East. So we turned the Turkish airline, a gateway, Istanbul gateway from the Europe to the Middle East. So we are the strongest in the Middle East. In Asia, we are very strong. Why we are working this much hard? Because we promised our mayor bringing the 30 million tourists into Istanbul in five years. Okay, that's Asia, that's how whole networks. Okay, coming back again, if a country or a city claiming became like a heaven for tourism, they need an excellent connection. Otherwise, no tourist in, in this world wants to go somewhere with the transfers in the ex countries, doesn't know how to handle the, 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 the customs, you know? If you don't have a good coverage in the world, we don't have good things on the tourism also. It's a must. A big carriers who are supporting, similarly, we do our job, we're not supporting them officially, of course, but it's by, by product. They should have an excellent network. This is what we're having. That's it, it. our frequencies. As a Turkish airline today, we're flying 221 cities, 1,000 fly per day. 1,000 fly per day. Airline like us need to fly 2,000 flights per day. So this means we're getting more aircraft and we're getting more employees. Captains from overseas, we don't have enough. And to increase these frequencies. Here you're seeing that some destination will have, let's say, four flights, you know, five flights per week, not per day, yet. This is gonna go in twice and three times daily. That time from Africa, somebody wants to visit to Istanbul, they count about the minutes not the day's difference, you know, ours. And we're making their life easier on the, this business. Okay, this is a very important one. If you want to turn your airline a production engine, production machine, you know, that time you need to make sure that you support the local traffic to Turkey from Turkey, but it's not never enough have high frequencies. If you don't have the high frequencies, no tourist wants to come with you because they have about five days, spend a half day wasting. No, 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 this is not fair. So in order to get the high frequencies there, you need more passengers. But there is not that much demand, so you need to transfer passengers. In order to have the transfer passengers, you make sure that the transfer is efficient, high frequencies there. So instead of waiting hours and hours on the airport in a very short time, they transfer the other aircraft in the Turkish airline, continue to other cities. What you are seeing here, things are built. There is no name for the lovely, air. this is all good airlines. They have no name there. It's all big, nice airlines. And Turkish, 221 destination, 
and 185 international. And those, this year, this became 250. And linking the Europe to Middle East, that's the OND, origin destination. That's pair of cities with connecting, you know. It's much better than any carriers. This includes all carriers in this world, you know. And connecting the, the Europe to Africa, we are the best one. Connecting to the Middle East to the Africa is also the same thing. No problems there. I did it. But connecting the Eurasia to the America, we are not that much strong. So this is why we're not getting a lot of tourists from the US and Canada, you know? So we need to get stronger there. Connecting Europe to Asia. Now we have a very nice place. This is a nice airline. And this two nice airline. So in order to really bring 30 million tourists in Istanbul, we need high frequencies. In order to have the high frequencies, we need transfer passengers. In order to have the transfer passenger, you need to make sure your passengers are very happy about what you are doing. Our passengers is, have good service. Passenger for us, when entering to Accra first time, they're facing the Turkish airline employers. We start serving them the Turkish delight as a welcome on the economic class also. We start serving Turkish coffee, not all the flight, but it will be all the flights. Make sure that they tasting the turkey on the first one. If you have the times in the economic class, we can serve them the drinks and everything as a welcome drinks, but there's not enough time. This is why we are not serving them. It's coming back again. The service, money spending on the passenger is almost nothing, 5%. But attraction is 100%, you know. So, as I said, all people in this world will be travel. All purple people, this is the mathematics, you know, 5%, 4%. You know, everybody will travel because population is about 1%. This is 5%, you know. In order to make sure they're coming with you, you became nice to the, your guest. For us, passengers guest. We are very successful, not because of the garment, not because of this one, because of heart. I have a case, and we have an internal magazine, uh, that's, uh, I forget the name, Suzuki. Uh, yeah, that internal magazine, uh, we have the case. I explained the case, what happened. In one flight from Barcelona to Istanbul, a family is traveling Barcelona to Istanbul. It's going to wait four hours in Istanbul and transfer from Istanbul to Bangladesh, Dakar. They have five years old son, kids. And kids became sick on the air. There is doctor by chance. And cabin attendants, everybody support, lower the temperatures, but no luck. When they come to Istanbul, that's a real story. When they come to Istanbul, our cabin chief asked the family, why don't you bring this kid to the doctors? You're going to wait for hours, but you know, who knows what will happen on the five, seven hours flight. And family said that we don't have money, could be. Because you are in the Istanbul, in the expensive cities, the going doctor costs you several thousand, I don't have money. And as a regulation, we, we are not responsible for that six uh, the passenger also. But our cabin attendant, she has also five years old kids, son. But she did, she get a piece of paper, she write down, during this one, the doctor is ordering to the, our ground service. If Turkish Airlines not pay the doctor fee, I will pay him from my salary and sign it. This is the touch, you know. We're using this one here and also our internal magazine to propagate what we are handling, what we are touching as a tourist or as a passenger is human being. If we spend millions, I'm talking about millions, if I spend a million dollars for that kids as a Turkish airline, still is investment for us. It's investment for us. This is why we are growing. We're not growing because we're ordering so many aircraft, so many things. We're growing because our guest, our passenger, coming to our home. Every aircraft on the coming attendance has our 50 passengers, each attendance. We're telling them they behave like that. 50 people at our homes. 
I remember when I was a kid, 50 people in my home, not enough supply, how can I feed them up? But we have enough supply on the aircraft, and we can feed them up. We can have them welcome Turkish delights. So this on the tourism industry should be. When we have the contract, you have to get your money or the tickets that pay, it's yours. That people, that individual is yours. This is why we are successful. That old graphic showing that we have a, we are getting more market share on the east-west bound, north-south bounds, you know. Just I want to do a close up here. The reality is, the number is, more people is traveling for leisure, for business, and keep continuing to travel. We study this one very well. Why? Because we're making money from this business, you know. And it's what is coming out is actually when the people is traveling, we need to make their life easier. We make sure whatever they make them has stayed, don't move, we need to remove it. So whole industry, hotels, airlines, mayors, we need to come together, make sure every single person in this earth could afford travel and see something else. That's the futures. 5% per person per year increase in tourism. Very soon, everybody will move. So different colors, different in language, different religion, they come together. This is excellent. This is the way I'm going to make money and business. You like it? Uh, thanks for listening to me. Thank you.